So up next, whoa, freaking out, is Aaron Jensen. Give him a hand. Uh, hello, my name is Aaron Jensen, and I'm a developer. Please hold your applause. Uh, the, one of the first things you get as a developer when you show up is a checklist of things to do to get your workstation set up so you can run the software. And these things are really scary because it looks sometimes you see what looks like blood marks on the on the pieces of paper, or down in the corner somebody's written uh, the cake is a lie. So it's it's kind of scary. And uh, you got to go through all these steps, and maybe step 13 you can't do because the security guy Brian is on vacation. You got to wait for him to get back. Um, and and if you don't follow the steps exactly right, your machine ends up a monstrosity. And if you run, if you manage servers, it's even worse because you end up running the same steps over and over and over and over again until you just want it. You just you, you can't take it anymore. You just want it to end. And if you have ever been a Windows sysadmin, it's kind of worse because the automation tools in Windows they have been great. Uh, because it started out as an operating system your grandma could use, and grandmas aren't interested in automation. And so you end up with technologies like batch scripts. And if anybody's ever written a batch script, you know that it actually steals little parts of your soul every time you use it. And eventually you're left as an empty husk of a human being. And you can feel Cthulhu trying to use you to enter our reality. Um, and so don't use batch. I started out using uh, MS Build. I hijacked Microsoft's build language. You, uh, by scripting in XML, I was able to take advantage of the full .NET framework and Win32 APIs, but you had to program in XML, which is not ideal, and you had no functions, which sucked even worse. So I learned PowerShell too. And PowerShell is a great uh, automation platform that Microsoft has produced. It's the greatest shell that I've ever used, and I've used C shell, so that's saying something. <laughs> but when I started automating, I had to look around, okay, where are all the great PowerShell packages for me to use to automate my stuff? And there wasn't anything out there. <laughs> It was empty. And so when I was creating our automation platform, I created a small layer at the bottom that was my company agnostic. It had nothing to do with WebMD. And the hopes that I could someday release it as an open source software so that, or uh, if that didn't succeed, I could steal it and take it to my next job. And thus Carbon was born as a PowerShell module. I used to automate stuff. Um, and the great thing about power, uh, Carbon is it's all item potent, which means if you want to run something in Carbon, no matter how many times you run it, you're going to get the same thing without any errors. If a user exists, uh, it's not. It's going to be fine. If it doesn't exist, it's going to install it. It's kind of like a Michael Bay Transformers movie. No matter what you shove in one end, you're getting the same movie out <laughs> the other end. Um, and Carbon keeps your systems clean, and it does it really minimally. It only makes the changes it needs to to bring things up to date. So if you change the description of a service, say, and it's already installed, all Carbon does is just update the description of the service. If you set permissions on a 70 gigabyte uh, hard drive, if those permissions already exist, you don't have to wait three hours for the permissions to propagate again. It's really good. Um, it's also really well documented. Documentation is your most important feature. If it's not documented, it might as well not even exist. So Carbon has, everything's documented in Carbon. Everything's got examples. I'm really proud of the documentation. It also comes with a great, uh, it's also, I use test-driven development to write all Carbon's code, and so it's got a great test suite. Every time we come in and push code to Carbon, the test suite kicks off and runs, and I know within about half an hour, 45 minutes, if I broke anything, and no new versions of Carbon get released unless all the tests have passed. So here's some Carbon code. Everything is it's all, it's great because it's all one line. Here we're installing the certificate. Uh, we're granting permissions on that private key on that certificate. Guess what that's like without this, this function? Creating registry keys, values on those registry keys, uh, installing services and setting advanced properties on the services. That's not easy. You can actually grant uh, permissions on to control the services and other permissions on services, which are also very difficult to do. Um, if, everything in Microsoft's operating systems gets installed with something called MSI. And if you want to get a list of information about what software is installed, uh, the operating system looks at all the MSIs and actually will do validation checks and might reinstall your software, which can lead to corruption. Carbon's got a function that doesn't do that. Yay! Cryptography, uh, we have a function to generate a private key pair so you can do encryption and, and uh, decryption using public pri private key cryptography. Or you can use Microsoft's Data Protection API, which, you, which manages the keys for you. Uh, local user and group management, which surprisingly doesn't come native in PowerShell. You can also grant privileges to users, so if your user needs to log on as a service or impersonate other users, one line of PowerShell. Also a function to get canonical information for a user, their username, uh, security ID, that kind of thing. And we're a web-based company, so we do a lot of stuff with IIS, so there's a whole slew of functions for uh, installing IIS websites, applications, virtual directories, blah, 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 blah. And the Carbon has a whole bunch of other stuff that makes things way easy. You can manage COM permissions, got a bunch of stuff for DSC, manage INI files, the host file, uh, file shares, install MSIs, 
the whole the whole gamut. So that's carbon. I'm very proud of it. Thank you very much.